Sambonani, welcome to the Winnie Madikizele Mandela House. For some of you, this is the first time inside, um, and it's also our first time using uh, or having a presser rather in our first class media room. So I hope you notice that. Um, this is also a briefing that has been called by the officials of the EFF on the coalition negotiations. Uh, we have our officials here today, starting uh, with the Treasurer General, Commissar Umpile Mayute. We have uh, the, well, our National Chairperson, Commissar Veronica Mente, has sent an apology. Uh, she had a family commitment. We have our DSG, uh, Commissar Popi Mailula. We have our Deputy, sorry, our Secretary General, Commissar Marshall Glamini. We have our Deputy President, uh, Commissar Floyd Shivambu, and of course we have our Commander-in-Chief, Julius Malema. We are also joined by the team for the coalition team. We have Dr. Nglozi, Commissar Dr. Nglozi, and we have Commissar Kailipi. Our former National Chairperson will be joining us uh, shortly. Uh, Commander-in-Chief, over to you. Thank you very much, uh, Commissar Lien, former TG of the EFF. The Economic Freedom Fighters Central Command Team held on the 5th of November 2021, adopted a framework for local government elections and established a negotiation team led by EFF Deputy President Floyd Shibamu. The negotiations team was further comprised of the EFF Secretary General Marshal Lamini, National Chairperson Veronica Mente, Commissar Mbuiseni Ndlozi, and Tlengwem Kalipi, and former National Chairperson Dalimpov. The principle and framework for local government election coalition included the following. Appreciation of EFF seven non-negotiable cardinal pillars for economic freedom in our lifetime, service delivery, commitments with timelines particularly on land, jobs, water, electricity, flushing toilets, and care for people with disability. Anti-racism meaning that whatever coalition is an outcome of EFF participation must not reinforce white supremacy and African heritage. An understanding that the EFF should exclusively governing all municipalities in exchange of others and where this happens there should be agreement on oversight function given to the coalition partners. Non-interference in the appointment of municipal managers and all other senior managers. Publication of the concrete agreements reached with coalition partners to avoid a perception that they are secret agreements. Constant and honest engagements and reports to the people on the progress made on coalition. The CCT further mandated the negotiation team to enter into coalition negotiations, which must be based on the following central policy positions. Amendment of the constitution to realize land expropriation without compensation in six months. Creation of state bank in 12 months. Nationalization of South African Reserve Bank in 12 months. Cancellation of student debt in 12 months. Creation of state pharmaceutical company in 12 months. Passing of insourcing bill in 12 months. This term must be removed from the national anthem in 12 months. Opening of clinics for 24 hours, seven days a week. Provision of free sanitary towels for all who need, it, who need them. Provision of free water and electricity for all SASA beneficiaries. Yesterday, the 15th of November 2021, the negotiations team tabled a report to the War Council and adopted a posture to the composition of the municipalities. As part of the engagement, the negotiation team met with the following political parties Action SA, Inkata Freedom Party, African National Congress, and many other small organizations. The, um, Action XA. The negotiation team held two official meetings in, with Action, Action XA in South Africa while there was a, a, a degree of mutual understanding and to some extent agreements with Action XA on the approach to municipalities to which they 
represented in. We learned via media that Action SA will not work with the EFF in the, ma in the manner in which we had proposed. We respect Action SA decision on coalition and hope that their decision is autonomous from external influences. Inkata Freedom Party. The negotiation team held, on, held one meeting with the IFP and established sufficient consensus to collaborate in many hung municipalities in KwaZulu Natal. The details of the agreement with the IFP will be published after the special national council meeting which is taking place today. MEP 16 and its coalition partners in the Free State. The negotiation team met with MEP 16 and its coalition partners in Malutiapofu municipality and agreed to constitute part of the voting bloc that will remove the ruling party from power in Malutiapofu. The African National Congress. The negotiations team held two meetings with the ANC and did not establish any consensus on anything because the ANC delegation did not concede to any of the negotiations principles and policies which we believe should form the foundation of any collaboration. Instead, the ANC wanted to rush into discussions, discussing power sharing and position in municipalities before discussing the principle and policies raised by the EFF. Based on this report, War Council resolved to stop coalition discussions and negotiations with the ANC because they are failing to provide clear commitments and timelines on the key issues raised as the basis for negotiations. The ANC was unable to give clear commitment on issues that we have raised. This is despite the EFF's negotiations team giving the ANC an opportunity to present alternative timelines and deadline on all these important policy questions. Way forward. The EFF will not be voting for and will not support any candidate put forward by the ANC in all municipalities for all positions, including positions of speaker, chief whips, and mayors. The EFF will not vote for political parties that did not approach us for coalition discussions. In municipalities where there is sufficient consensus and possibilities to win, the EFF will fill candidate for positions in the municipalities and in, and in each instance will publish the basis, principle, and policies of such a col collaboration. Conclusion. The EFF opened up its doors to all political parties in South Africa to have open and frank discussion and negotiations on coalitions because we are interested in establishing stable governments in all municipalities in South Africa. We will not disengage in sitting, in sitting of municipalities council and will never create instability and condition that will lead to the dissolution of municipalities. We have already welcomed and appreciated the outcome of the 2021 local government elections and we all are going to the ground to serve our people in all areas where we are represented. I thank you. Thank you, President. Um, as you know, we'll take questions and answers Q&A. We'll take five at a time. You know the drill, identify you, your media company and your full name. One, two, remember your number, three, Four, five. Okay, thank you. Um, it's Zianda Ngobo from Newsroom Africa. Um, I'd just like to ask the Commander-in-Chief, do you think that the terms that the EFF has set, um, are, which are mainly at a national level and can only practically be implemented at that level, um, are, are unrealistic and putting the party on the back foot when it comes to these coalition talks? Because, uh, you know, when it comes to some of your demands, the municipalities won't have the constitutional mandate to actually fulfill some of what you're demanding. The second question is, now that your discussions with the ANC seem to have fallen by the wayside, 
would you or the team that you've assembled be willing to now go back to parties like Action SA to reopen those negotiations? Because part of their contention was that the EFF is bringing the ANC back into government through the back door. And now that you've just stated that you won't be voting for any ANC candidates, um, will you now be going to them, especially for uh, areas such as the city of Johannesburg? Thanks. Ah, Bongile Tumago, SABC News. I'm actually fully covered by my colleague next to me, Ziyanda Ngobo. But the question that comes into mind as well, Mr. Malema, is based, based on the fact that there seems to be little progress in as far as your, your discussions are concerned for the coalitions. And you just said now that your main, your main objective is to see stable governments and all of those things. Then what more are you willing to go the, into extra then making it a point that beyond these coalitions that are seemingly not taking the right path as one would have anticipated to avoid a situation where we have to go for a, a what you call a re-election and then number two uh, beyond uh, having taken to twitter following the death of the last apartheid president fw de Klerk, saying thank god uh, we understand that the, the funeral will take place in a private uh, set setup your reaction to that and what do you really take from what we've seen happening in as far as reactions are concerned following the passing on of Uti Glek? And goes. Okay. Um, good afternoon. Uh, Noma Zimankosi from the Sowetan. Um, I just wanted to ask, um, now that you've stated that the door um, to working with the ANC is closed, um, are discussions, have discussions taken place uh, with the DA? Has the DA approached the EFF? I know that they had said that they would not work with the EFF, but um, PA President Gayton McKenzie stated yesterday that uh, the EFF and DA, as well as Fred Front um, worked together in a municipality called Matsukama um, to basically ex a PA mayor. So I just wanted to find out if um, are discussions between the DA and EFF taking place at all. Mawande uh, Amashabara from Sunday Times. My question is, since the EFF appears to have problems with others who are not conceding to its demands, what compromises at all is the EFF willing to make or has put forward to make uh, with those that it has negotiated with, such as the ANC, who are not agreeing to your demands? Second question linked to this one. What, what happened, Mr. Malema, to the, to the idea you, you pitched at the Tselatuba rally where you called for a pact that is focused on human dignity and uh, the provision of basic services at local government. And how does that align to these demands that you have, uh, the so-called national demands that you are now putting forward in these uh, coalition negotiations? Do those two align or are they in contradiction? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, members of the media. Um, you know, I wish I can have a conversation with you about the national issues and terms that municipalities won't implement because you are deliberately just creating confusion because no one is talking to any municipality. It's political parties having a conversation, not municipalities. So you say, but what you are asking of municipalities, you know municipalities can't do that. We've never asked for anything from a municipality. I wanted to stop you and I said, okay, let's leave here. So that you can give me an example and I'm prepared to stop here. So you can give us example of any municipality we ask for anything. We never ask for anything from any municipality. We ask from the ANC as a party. And ANC is not a municipality. We said to the ANC, let's agree to give um, 
free sanitary towels in all municipalities where we govern. You say that's a national issue which is not implementable. Oh, what is not implementable about that? Are you saying municipalities cannot implement free sanitary towels? Are you saying free sanitary towels are a national issue? As if national issues are a, 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 a something flying up there and untouchable when it comes to residents of municipalities. Which issue? Just maybe let me allow you to give me an example. I mean, for an example, the expropriation of land without compensation is one of the demands that you have there. And yes, you're negotiating with the ANC, but the ANC has got to deploy people into the municipalities. We're dealing with the local government elections here, so this is what I'm trying to get clarity on. But we are agreed. We never asked any municipality anything again. We are in agreement. Yeah, you're speaking to the yes. political party. So we never asked municipality anything. I'm happy we agree on that. So expropriation of land without compensation actually is even can be done now by municipalities without this agreement municipalities can expropriate land the biggest debate which we are having is whether they can do that without compensation or not the constitution says there could be nil or whatever agreement on compensation, they can do it. Municipal, so don't say municipalities can expropriate land. Municipalities can expropriate land. So instead of doing a piecemeal approach on the expropriation of land without compensation, let there be a national understanding so that we do one thing. South Africa is a unitary state under one constitution. There is no constitution for others and constitution for other municipalities. So once we agree nationally, then it becomes uniformity for all municipalities. Therefore, there is nothing we are talking which will not affect a single municipality or a single individual. Let's leave expropriation of land because we won't pass test on that one. The municipalities can expropriate. Let's talk about something that municipalities have got no role, none whatsoever to play in it and were asking for. I thought you would go there uh, if you know what municipalities can do and cannot do. Cancellation of student debt. Municipalities have nothing to do with that. They, 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 they can't say to any university, any college, cancel a student debt. But when we say to the ANC, cancel a student debt, and the ANC agrees to cancel a student debt, it means some money into the pockets of the residents. Because some of the residences, as we speak now, are still struggling to pay the student debt. And they still struggle to pay the rates and taxes. They are working, by the way. But they are earning nothing. So when you cancel a student debt, you put more money into the pocket of a resident. And the resident is then able to pay for water and electricity, and it means more money to our uh, municipality. And it means less poverty, not only for municipality, for individuals' concerns. And which municipality is not concerned about reducing the poverty levels among citizens? Maybe the one of PA, Yamapantiti. But any other normal uh, municipality <laughs> will be excited that there is something that brings some more money into the pockets of my residents, and that is student debt. So the student debt SG cuts across all the municipalities and all individuals. And when you say cancel the student debt, you mean fight poverty. You mean those who don't have at all should not be struggling with these things. But those who have but cannot afford because they've got many other important things to take care of, then lesser responsibilities on them and then more money to things like basic water and electricity. Again, why do you call them national issues? Why do you call them national issues which must not be involved in these debates and then allow national leaders to sit? Because national leaders deal with national issues. National leaders don't deal with local issues. They deal with national issues. So why do you question the national issues and not question the national leadership? Why are you not saying, why are the national leaders meeting 
and not municipality leaders or regional leaders or branch leaders since these issues actually should take place at that level. You can't say that because DP, Municipal uh, Systems Act uh, and which other Municipal Act? Structures. Municipal Structures Act. It's a national act. It's not a local uh, municipality or village act. It's national. It's resolved here. Even if it's going to impact on local municipalities. I'm just opening a political school briefly uh, so that we are at one page. Uh, there is no way they can say, why are you passing national structural act nationally and not uh, allow lo locals to pass it because it's a local issue? You know why? It's because we are a unitary state. That which happens in this municipality must also happen in the other municipality. We are not a federal country. Something that DA wishes for. We are not. And therefore this DA mentality when it comes to national question should really not be something that we really entertain. We have not moved away from Action SA. The Action SA left us on the table. We are still there. They know where to find us. We have not shut the door for SA, action SA. The man wants to come, let him come and talk to us. We have no problem. Uh, because we have taken a conscious decision to be extremely patient with Mashaba because he's a political illiterate. So such people you have to take along. You don't be impatient uh, with them. He doesn't know politics, Shem. So uh, from time to time, he will make those things that he makes, but he's going to realize over a period of time that politics don't work like that. And then you can't, I mean, uh, by virtue of being called commissars in the EFF. Commissar means a doctor of society. So when society is sick, you don't become impatient. No, you, you, you look after them. So Mashaba is sick politically, so we'll... Uh, We'll look after him. We will not abandon him. Even in the council, they were going to hold his hand in the opposition benches. If we ultimately go into the opposition benches with him, when he gets lost to the bathroom, say, hey, this way, we have been around this side of the benches. You don't go the mayor's bathroom. You go the other way. <laughs> so we are, we are, we are ready uh, to, to take him under us. His problem is that he took uh, apparently money of wrong people. You see, when you take money of wrong people, you can't take an independent decision. Mashaba loves the EFF idea. You listen to him. His perception and how he wants to articulate issues. He speaks completely EFF language. The problem is the money. Uh, some uh, journalist was telling us there on Twitter that Mashaba took the money of people, so that's why they told him, why are you flirting with the EFF? Mashaba knows that the, the only implementable practical thing to do to change the face of local government and the people of South Africa is by implementing the EFF policy. And any other thing will be to theorize and waste time of our people. Shem, as Cyril is just talking, there's not going to be any re-election. No one is going to go back to any election. We are going to participate in municipalities fully. We don't care whether DA wins or the ANC wins or anyone else. We are going to participate, make sure we give them the necessary majority to, con to form a quorum. Once a forum is formed, they can see what to do with each other. If they are going to uh, slaughter each other, let them slaughter each other. It's none of our problems. Uh, where we like, we can even field an EFF candidate just for controlling J. Just to show anyone or no one controls us. We are in charge of our own. We are not being controlled by anyone. So, it's very unfortunate. I think uh, people like uh, Mzwandile and um, this one here, poor, they must start pegging their things. You know this thing of taking your children's photos into municipal offices? It's a problem. 
They must go and pack the pictures of their children in municipal offices and go home because uh, their national leaders are so unreasonable. Tell me, eh, why do you have a problem as a national leader to say, okay, we disagree with expropriation of land without compensation, but we agree on provision of sanitary south towers for free in municipal. The ANC can commit to that. What is the policy difference about that? They still want to consult on free sanitary towels. I mean, I say that, I say yes to that without thinking twice. Rather, the EFF expels me. It's the right thing to do. And I'm not telling you this. The, the negotiating team says to them in a meeting, you can't commit to provision of free sanitary towels. Let's say we disagree on everything. But just this one. Provision of free sanitary towel. You can't commit to that. Now let's consult. And then they disappear for one hour to consult if they must provide free sanitary towels. You can provide free sanitary towels. Metros have got clinics. You can provide those in the clinics and in all buildings of the municipality. You can even extend to any public building, you can negotiate with departments that are found there, provincial, even the private sector. You remember when we were making condoms fashionable, we put them everywhere. That is the approach we want. Where sanitary towels are just all over. Women don't have to go and beg anyone or anyone are go to women. Uh -uh. They must just find them there and take without anyone noticing take whatever number they take and go so that they don't have to display their poverty in front of any nonsensical, arrogant ANC administrator. The ANC can't commit to that. The ANC can't commit to removing the stem. We're not saying remove Africans. We say remove the stem. We can, we can get people to compose eh? Africans' vision, a new, nice Africans' melody. Something like Bayamo, he said Africa, Bayamo. <laughs> Something like that. Don't, not this time. We don't have a problem with this time. With, with Africans, we have a problem with this time. So we can have a portion of Africans, there's no problem. Let's sing in Africans, but let us not sing this time. The ANC has got a problem with that of removing the song that was sang during the torture of our people. The song that was sang at Flag Plus. Some of the people who went to Flag Plus tell me that the, those boers used to bribe meat and drink out, uh, alcohol outside those shacks that they locked them in. The smell will go inside there when they are locked inside there in Flag Plus. And when they get drunk, they sing this term. And you ask those people, to relieve that torture. The ANC is unable to commit to that. I'm sorry, man, I can't. And clinics. And clinics. Mashaba did it. What stops the ANC from saying we'll open clinics 24-7? Well, this is the most... Low. Let's disagree about the land. It's a debate I'm prepared to have with anyone to the grave. It's not an easy debate, especially for the light-headed to understand what we are talking about. But I'm not prepared to argue with anyone on clinics that must open 24-7. I must have a debate about that. About such a basic necessity, I'm not going to have a debate with anyone about that. I'm not prepared. There are certain things that are just ABC of service delivery. So, so please, there's not going to be any re-election here. The Clerk Foundation, I'm happy the Clerk Foundation said the Clerk is going to be okay, cremated. Mm, it's good. He deserves cremation. So let them bury him the way they want to bury him. There's nothing we can do. It's good, again, that the, um, this one was handled by the Clerk. Uh, uh, Cyril didn't provide... Um, 
state federal we're going to disrupt it proper mm. we're going to disrupt it proper because state federal is not about the money it's about the honor it's the highest honor our country can bestow on someone and it was not going to happen with it like and it's not lip service for sure all of you you pretend like you're forgotten because you don't like us we, we are the ones who went to disrupt the Clerk in Santen Convention Center when it was called by uh, Tabombek. We said the Clerk is not going to speak here, but the Clerk is going to address us on good governance or something like that. Good governance or something. We said, uh-uh, the Clerk educate us about democracy. It's not going to happen. And we went there. And fortunately, uh, we didn't find him. So when no money of ours was going to be spent on the clerk, so uh, good to them. Well, the ANC negotiated in bad faith. Firstly, they sent very junior delegation to the EF to meet the EFF. When the EFF has sent almost uh, half of their officials uh, and former officials to the negotiations team, the ANC sends, sends extremely juniors. And then when they try to send an official, they send Paul Machatine. Paul Machatile is one of the most dishonest people ever. You must never meet that guy and think uh, something will happen. But through his uh, scheming and political maneuvering, he managed to hold the ANC staff members for four months. They thought the salary was coming. And when they said it's four months, I said it's Paul for, the, for you. He, he works like, he's a schemer. He works like that. <clears throat> <clears throat> when he speaks, he says, mm, mm, mm. uh, we work something out. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't. That's for sure. That's what he tells those workers. He did that to EFF many times. And one of the first things we did was to demand that Paul must not sit in a meeting where the EFF is going to be present because we don't trust anything that comes out of Paul's mouth. He's not honest. So will we rather deal with people who are honest, who say no, we know they mean no. When they say yes, you know they, they mean yes. Because from the EFF, they don't get mixed signals. The message is clear. One message, many voices. The message is clear. Um, you know, some of these things... Uh, I, I don't know what happened in Matsugama, uh, uh, my sister. I'll, I'll find out. But I'll also find out because I'm told the counsel of the EFF, they said he's not going to get a mandate from the EFF. He's going to vote anyhow he so wishes. Uh, yeah, so he will know his ancestors if they are powerful or not after this press conference because no one votes according to his conscience. The people who want to vote according to their own conscience. They formed their own small Anyana parties everywhere here in South Africa, and no one is bothering them. If you want to be in the EFF and represent the EFF, you follow the party line. Command and control, that's what democratic centralism means. The mandate comes from here at Winnie Mandela House. I was watching TV the other day, and I saw the EFF councillor in Metsimaul being interviewed, and he said, well, we'll be guided by our national leadership. They have established a coalition a committee that is speaking to coalitions, and when they are done, they will give us guidance. That's a cadre of the EFF, not some job hunter who think he got a job because he's got a beautiful uh, CV. A complete failure that failed to win a what? Thinks he can tell us what to do, what he can do without us. So uh, Matsigama is going to be a very good example when we leave this press conference. Because we don't want that. It's like these ones who, who think we are Hemen Mashaba, they can tell us, no, but I'm a PR, I'm a this, I'm a we, 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 PR what? Of what? Hey, I was a what candidate? Hey, hey, they, uh, 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 uh. PR means party representative. It is the party that chooses who goes in, who goes out. You lose a word hopelessly after we have given you everything. 
water to drink water we give you water we give you food we give you taxis we give you t-shirts we give everything you lose a word you still think you can talk to us anyhow you want you still think you can tell us what you want to become a hopeless loser telling us what needs to happen to the EFF it will never happen that one never it's not going to happen not in the EFF Rosami lo palej, probably a paling, but about reject. You are a reject, so you want to come and re irritate us here. No, reject is going to irritate us here. If you had won your award, you are not going to be having any discussion with anyone. O palej, if the EFF makes you a PR, just say thank you. After failing, your mandate was to win a award. But secondly, what irritates me more, DP, is these people who are going to be EFF ward councillors who don't know the EFF guidelines. Who were deploying dangerous people, Mus? A person doesn't know the guideline. A simple guideline. I mean, during elections, you must have an interest to read every piece that has to do with elections. You don't know the guidelines on how PR is going to be deployed. And then you think you can give us a headache that Herman Mashaba is heavy. Yo, 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 yo. Not us. It's not going to happen. Well, my, I said to you, we are more than prepared to compromise. One of the compromises is the first non-negotiable cardinal pillar. If you say to us, guys, I don't, I can't do it. I can't. You see, the IFP says, we agree with you on expropriation of land. The problem is with compensation. We want compensation. You don't want compensation. That's the debate we're having with the IFP. The ANC doesn't even go there. Or no, what is your position okay, on expropriation of land? Uh -uh, leave those things. Which municipality do you want? Leave those things. Let's talk about positions. Don't talk about expropriation. So that's how much we are prepared to come. We are prepared to compromise in relation to our coalition relationship with those people. But we are not prepared to compromise it as an EFF policy. But going into a coalition for service delivery guided by the pact you are talking about, where the people of Amman Skral becomes a priority, and someone says to me, Julius, please, 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 wait with those things of expropriation. Let's agree that we are going to give the people of Amman's Kral water in the next six months. I'm prepared to have listen or eh? Or, eh? or no. Let's give the people of Amman's we will continue to debate that, but let's give the people of Amman's Kral water in the next six months, clean water. Then I say, okay. I will go back to the leadership. This I'm prepared to go and fight with the leadership about. Because we need to give our people water. It's an immediate thing. They want this water. But we'll continue to battle each other on this. That pact still stands. But we can't impose it on the DA uh, when they say they don't want to work with us or the Freedom Front or anyone else who says he can't work with us. I, I'm, 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 I'm highly conflict. I don't see how I can work with the PA. In the morning. You can change people's lives. And then we must be having a, a political party in South Africa. Deciding what it needs to do. Anyway, get democracy, but now I'm not prepared. And, and very xenophobic. Say, no, foreigners must leave. Someone said to me, if you want us to vote for you in 2024, you must abandon uh, this thing of uh, foreigners. Uh, now I'm prepared to go home. Now I'm fine. I'm ne I will never take a platform and denounce Africans. I will never do it. If it means votes are going, let them go. Now I'm prepared to go home. But to take a platform and please white minority by pointing a finger at my other fellow 
black brothers. I'm not going to do that. When I see a Nigerian or a Zimbabwean or a Congolese or Ghanaian, I see myself. EFF can commission a internal research to see to what extent is this thing hurting the EFF. But I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to take a platform and say foreigners must go home. I would rather not be a president of South Africa. I will be a president of my children at home. We will practice cabinet there. Ah, no, I don't want. I must go and, and, and tell these hungry Zimbabweans to leave here. And when I, leave, and I tell them to leave, I send them to where? To die. To die. I would rather die with them than to allow them to die alone. If this thing has cost us metros, it's fine. I mean, not metros. Now we live in the city center. We're thinking metros. We think like Buff Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> if this thing has cost us municipalities and there are people who say I must resign, I will resign. For Africans, I will resign. For black people, I will resign. I have no problem. I saw some tweet saying, no, the CIC must step down. If it's for this, I'm, I'm ready. If Bukona, if you are against it now, on the basis that I support Africans, let it be. I don't care. What makes me at night is that white people in this country say they are prepared to work with everyone except the EFF, except Julius Malema. I sleep at night. The enemy is not happy with me. I don't want the enemy to be happy with me. And the enemy has accepted that it has got no control over me. It doesn't control me. I've not taken its money. The state can use its own institutions to try and threaten us and do all manner of things. Investigators from 2008 and whatever, yes, were fine. We're not scared of anything. But one thing we know, we have never stolen anyone's money. And we don't take money from anyone that will control us. No one, after a major meeting, you go home, you find some three well-built white people in your dining room. How did it go? Because we have not taken anyone's money. That's the beauty and the freedom of the EFF. So please be aware that the stance on Africans remains. It goes nowhere. We are for a united Africa. And we can't unite it by dividing it. We want one Africa, one currency, one president, one military, uh, and, and one reserve bank. So, we are very clear about it. It is in our founding manifesto to ask me to move from that you are asking me to compromise on non-negotiable cardinal pillars of the EFF. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Thank you. Can we get an indication of how many more questions they have so we know whether we just do our last round? Okay, let's go. We'll start with one, two, three, three. Thank you so much. Um, I would like for us to, to, to zoom into Quebec, Nelson Mandela Bay. My understanding is that first council meeting is sitting tomorrow. Where are you standing there? In as far as coalitions are concerned, what can we see transpire maybe between now and tomorrow, if anything? And then on the issue of Umshegas Utiklerk, the president has just released a statement saying that the flags will fly half mast. Your reaction to that? And then some of the With regards to the clinics that you've said they should be opened in 24 hours, I'm actually re seeing some reactions to that uh, from, from social media. People that are saying that there's a concern of security. Health officials get attacked when they have to drive ambulances in the township and all of those things. How can that be addressed then? Engos Kakul. Um, thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to get an idea from the CIC. Um, with regards to our issues related to uh, electricity and ESCOM, 
So uh, after the MTBPS, the finance minister was also questioning um, why we still have these issues of load shedding and basically was saying we need to deal with the issue of the grid more than it is to actually sort of fix the, the, the current issues that we have with our power stations. I know that you released a, st a statement uh, calling for the removal of Praveen Gordon, but besides that, what is the suggestion of the EFF in terms of dealing with our energy issues? Um, especially since, you know, one of the, the proposals you have as a part of these coalition discussions is free, you know, electricity and water for Sasa beneficiaries. Um, and, and maybe, I know you've been speaking quite extensively about it, but which part or what broke the straw on the camel's back when it came to the discussions between the ANC and the EFF? If you're able to just give um, specifics in that regard. Thank you. I'm going to take it back to Nelson Mandela Bay as well. Um, I was told that um, by people that side that the ANC and EFF had reached an agreement in terms of um, the EFF supporting an ANC mayor uh, in exchange for ANC um, or giving or basically the EFF occupying the seat of speaker and chief whip. So um, in terms of now the EFF making, um, saying that there's no longer going to be a relationship with the ANC. Has that agreement um, been abandoned or did it never exist? And then also just to back to Utatu Herman Mashaba. Um, I know the EFF, uh, you've said that you're being patient um, with U Mashaba, but um, there's been questions on why is, the, why is the EFF insisting on Mashaba? What is it about Mashaba that the the EFF seems to be in agreement of, or, yeah, just that. Thank you, President. <clears throat> no, we're not insisting on Mashaba. We're sharing municipalities. So we were saying, you, uh, that's why our people will keep on saying we insist on Mashaba, because they too have not given themselves time to look at w w what will constitute Johannesburg. You cannot constitute Johannesburg successful municipality without bringing Mashaba on board because he's got numbers. So if you have a party like EFF, ANC, Mashaba voting together, then you have secured Chobe against the African Erdom. But if the African Erdom comes with the DA, Freedom Front, Mashaba, and those smaller... Uh, parties, ACDP and them, then they take over Johannesburg. So it's not only insisting on Mashab. You can't do without him. But because you gave him Johannesburg, then he has to give you Pretoria because you need him again in Pretoria. But you don't need him in Egurulain. So the ANC and the EFF, if voting together there, they can still win without uh, Mashab. So that's why we said we need uh, Mashaba to, to come on board. So, so, so Mashaba is also a victim of racism. Um, it showed him serious flames when he was in the DA. Uh, and uh, he left ultimately because of those type of things. So we thought it was going to be someone that can help us to bring stability in the bigger cities. Uh, it's not informed by anything. You know what broke the ANC and the EFF uh, deal? It's because the ANC was not saying anything on the deal. They just insisted on talking positions, not issues. You see, when you look at the leader of the PA, the way he's speaking, the way he's so excited, I don't know if some of you saw his thing, he says he's got a mayor, he's got this. They wanted us to do that. They, hey, hey, we've got... Uh, municipality here, uh, we, 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 we go, we, we've got municipality here. Okay, what are the issues? What is the coalition pact? What, are, what, what have you agreed on? Uh -uh. We've got this. Helen Zile today in the morning said, I don't know if he said the name, but he said someone came to him and said, don't tell me about those things of issues. We just need money and positions. And that sounded like PA. I didn't hear what Helen Zile said. 
But when she spoke, I said, SGD, did she say the name? As she said, I just said the issues. I didn't hear if she said the name. Car but this sounds like Mapantiti, where you go or this one. Money and positions. That's all. So now our Mapantiti, really. Don't go around asking for such things. We want the issues on the table that are going to resolve the problems of all South Africans, irrespective of their color, gender, and their background. Let me tell you one of the issues we asked from the ANC, which is very interesting, and they can't budge on it as well, is the issue of disability. We in the EFF come from a point of view that says there shouldn't be a single disabled person without a house. Disabled people are not too many if you are to think of. Just us sitting in this hall now, and when you think alone now, you know very few people who are, who are, who are disabled. That's how few they are. There shouldn't be a single disabled person in South Africa who doesn't have a, a proper house that is proper for a disabled person with water and electricity and inside flushing toilet. I get we're building houses every day as government. Why should we disagree about that? Introducing a spe that woman is a minister of disabled people, Maite, in the presidency. is the youth, women, and disability. Yeah. We have a ministry that should be joining us in making that call that no single disabled person must not have a house, not one. The ANC can't budge on that. We are not asking for money that is not there. They are building houses every day. We are saying, let there be special allocation for disabled people. That's why we fought with the ANC. Build power stations. No, you must first fire the CEO, fire the board, and fire Bravin. I'm not sure, guys. I am, and this I'm speaking under correction. But it looks like Pravin is sick and is unable to perform his responsibility. Despite his incapacity as a person, his health is not in good condition. I'm speaking under correction. So you have a, a sick crisis like this with a minister who's not held, uh, uh, proper and fit to run such a complex ministry. It's a disservice to the country. Even himself. He's so greedy to a point where he's unable to say, tell the president, release me. It looks like the similar problem is in finance as well. That's why the budget took long to, to be presented. It's not the incapacity of treasury. We all know how treasury operates. The man is not in a very good condition, I suspect. The budget, after being presented in Parliament, the committee did not sit to debate the budget. Very unusual. It has never happened. Because the guy, the way he walks, there is a crisis. I remember one day, I would resolution here, yeah, NGC, I lay toilet, a guy on Ramalata got toilet. You know, Godongwan hiding inside the toilet. Where to fetch him from the toilet? Disappeared with the resolution on nationalization of mines and the banks. It's a fact. That guy is a coward like that. So the guy here now got the ke problem. Yeah, old age. Ba kula kamu kaga le president le na amu nat. Ba ba loala. Old age home. He's sick, all of it. They are all not proper. If they claim they are proper, let's go and do a public health check. All of us. Mm. They are not proper. You've got a sick government, literally. It must be it must be a concern of every South African. So we need power stations. Midupi must be completed. 
we need to make sure that there is a proper capacity build to generate sufficient energy for the grid. We need to fight the corruption that is there in ESCOM where ESCOM loses multi-millions of rents over stolen diesel. And there is no coal, by the way, that is going to be closed here by Sir Ramaphosa and his friends. If they close it, we open it. And we'll sell to whoever we want to sell to. We're not going to listen to that nonsense. People can't build their economy through coal. And then when they are well off, come and say to us, no, you need to close coal. We agree that eventually it will happen. But it can't be abrupt thing that we are just told, hey, everything is done, we are going to give you millions. Go. No, we're not going to do that. We need to protect uh, our coal industry because to close it will be to close the economy of many of our provinces. So uh, we're not going to allow that. But under that leadership, we're not going anywhere. Cyril must accept that uh, unless they are anywhere they are together to make sure that state-owned enterprises fail so that they can sell them to their friends. If that is the idea, then they are doing very well. They are doing very well in privatizing. Enoch was NUMSA Secretary General. Cyril was NUM Secretary General. Gwede Mantashi was Secretary General of NUM. Tula Singesi was Secretary General of SATU. Who else? Figile Majola was Secretary of Nehau. So you've got a government constituted by former serious, serious national leaders of unions. Ibrahim Patel wanting to privatize the strategic assets of the state. Something is wrong. I don't know why, whether they were part then, I don't know. Clinics, there's no problem of security. You see, you just created jobs. I like your questions because they, they are job creation. Mm, we open a uh, we open clinics and people are threatened, then we hire security and not, in source, not outsource it, in sourced security. And if it has become that dangerous, each ambulance will have a security. The same way, you remember truck drivers used to drive trucks alone. Today, every truck has got a security guard inside. So if a truck can have a security guard inside to guard the truck and the truck driver, what about an ambulance that is going to save lives? But our people are not mad. Our people are not sick. I don't see them are taking ambulance that is going to rescue life. It's not true. But that is not the argument of the ANC that we are not opening clinics for 24-7 because there is the security issue on clinics. By the way, those things that look like hospitals which are operating 24 hours, they, they, they operate 24 hours, there's never been an issue of security. Why are they not closed, Bautona? Why are they, those hospitals operating if there is a problem of security? They are public-owned hospitals, few as they are, dilapidated as they are, yet they are operating 24-7, and there's never been an issue of security. There will be isolated incidences, but we've always been there to deal with those. Once we build 24-hour clinics with ambulances and nurses and doctors, the people will protect those things because those are their assets. Chief, did Clerk and uh, Cyril have got a, a relationship of a special kind? But they met underground, even above ground. That's how much they know each other. Mm, we don't want to go far. But Cyril, there's no way he can fly the flags uh, half months because uh, his head shame. Mm, head prop. One of the men who looked after me passed away. That's what he should be thinking about. 
Cyril is part of them. So he's deeply hurt. When is that funeral? Want to organize this norms? Hmm. It must be after tears. After ample tears. So Cyril worked with these people. Proper. They identified him much earlier in the 70s. And he still works with them till to date. So there's no way he can fly a flag at half mast. PE. There's no one, no one who can say there is an agreement with the ANC, therefore we're voting with the ANC. There's no such a thing. Shame. He was just no calling in jail. There's nothing he was saying. Nothing. Uh, talking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 but you didn't hear when he said, Kaloku, you missed that part. And then he started saying those things. He was giving example or no. If it can work, maybe it can be this way. Yeah, no, 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 he's just talking shame. Uh, nothing like that. There is no way, no way, no way in the 66, right? Where the EFF is going to vote with the ANC. No way. And the EFF is going to try and destabilize the ANC even in Mangaung and everywhere else where the ANC has got 50% and not more. Even where they've got 51, 52, we've done it in Northwest. We're going to try and do it again now. You'll see. Where they think they've passed. We're working on something nice. Teach them a lesson. That's all. We started this job in 2016. We're continuing with it. Because the ANC, even today, still wants to speak like it has got power. The ANC has lost Gauteng. It's not going to get any of those municipalities in Gauteng. And it's not going to get Gauteng in 2024. That's all. So, there's no PE. I don't know what you are saying about PE. You're trying to say many things, but it's very simple. The EFF is not voting with anyone in PE. It doesn't matter who's got how many, who's got what there and what there. <laughs> we're not part of those things. And we're not going to be part of those things. We're not going to vote for any racist government with our eyes open. And bring African Erdom. If they get it, let them get it because the ego of the ANC was too big. But the younger generation of the ANC must know these old timers are killing the ANC. And they, are, they don't care. They've worked for their pension. They are living. They are not interested where the ANC is going. They decide if they want to die with it or they have to do something. But it's gone. It's finished. And, uh, you know, year after year, KwaZulu Natal makes us so proud, so nice. Who would have thought uh, Itagwin will, will go under the ANC? Go and look at your file of uh, 405 when you asking them the morning after the day of elections at the counting center of the IEC. Who's that one, the spokesperson of the ANC there? He was in the youth league. He kept on saying, you, you guys said to him, 405, you are losing a Teguin. What a Teguin? We are still fine here. It will never happen. Yeah, we are sorted. Yes, says. It didn't take long. Weep, Hey, he doesn't know now what happened. The whole of KwaZulu Natal is gone. It's done. The ANC will not get it because of the EFF. They must go and connive with Afrikaners to take it. But otherwise, we are not part of that. If Afrikaners are winning it, it will be out of ANC's failure. The door is closed. We are not taking any call. We are not taking any meeting. No invite, including those who have a special relationship with ANC people. Please, don't strengthen your friendship of ANC people through the expense of the EFF. 
No one is going to be calling us and telling us this is what the ANC says. It's done. It's closed. Mbalula is a friend of mine. We do all manner of things together, but he knows once it reaches this point, there's nothing more can be done. So our friendship is not based on this. And I'm not going to compromise the EFF for political expediency and friendship because I want to appear nice to my friends. No. The leadership of the EFF said to us, this matter is closed. The municipalities cannot keep on hanging and keeping our people in suspense in our name. Our people and fellow South Africans should know that we are no longer in any coalition negotiations with the ANC. The only people who are waiting for is the IFP. Even there, if it doesn't work, we'll not call a press conference. We'll just call it a day. Because we're not disparate to govern. We're not going to do everything in our power to get into government by compromising the fundamental principles which are going to change the lives of our people. We're not going to do that uh, as the EFF. So, guys, that's where we are. Everybody, members of the EFF, back to the ground, reorganization, get the structures in line, stop complaining like uh, children. Elections have come and gone. People have made it into the council, the PR, the matter is closed. No such a thing as a query or inquiry on PR or that will be entertained. This matter is closed. We have a rally on Sunday to thank our people in Tembisa for giving us a, a mandate. Saturday. Saturday, I like Sunday because I'm a born again. <laughs> so now, we must make sure that that rally becomes successful. At the forefront of it is the volunteers of the EFF. We need to thank them for doing this difficult job and for continuing to be loyal and disciplined members of the EFF. Remember, when you joined the EFF, you said the decisions of the higher structure are binding on lower structures and individuals. And that's what it is. It is democratic centralism. So we are in Gauteng uh, Saturday to thank our people and to say to them, Let's go back to the drawing board and continue to serve our people. Statements such as, hey, they didn't vote for us. They must not call us when they have problems. We don't want those statements. Our people must continue calling on us to help them. We are there for everyone, including those who have not voted for the EFF. There will be a special uh, rally in January in KZN to specifically thank the people of KwaZulu-Natal for continuing to come to our rescue and continuing to defend the revolution. Uh, they are a very special kind in the EFF and therefore they deserve some special attention. So we'll see them uh, when we come back in January to celebrate with the people of KZN. KwaZulu-Natal in 2024, and I told you, remember I told the MSG, uh, when we announced what, which metro do you want, I said we want uh, Eteguin. I told them, I said we are going to take that metro. We might not have taken it, but we moved from 5 to 3 and we have dropped the ANC to below 50%. Only those who know politics know what that means. It's a big thing. We have even passed the IFP um, in Eteguin. That's how much we are growing. We have grown in Eastern Cape. We have grown in uh, Mpumalanga, in Free State. I think we are doing very well all over uh, the country. We shouldn't be hard on ourselves. We must be very proud. And I think this decision we took today is going to rescue our organization. Many, many of our supporters and members, I can feel it already, they are so happy that we didn't go with the corrupt ANC. They were crossing their fingers, and now they are happy that the leadership has once more made them proud and took a correct decision. See you on Saturday, Tembisa, Winnie Mandela Squatter Camp, Skukuni Sports Ground, 12 o'clock. Those journalists who've got the necessary energy were slaughtering on Friday uh, cattle there in Tembisa. 
They only don't say how many man. You can't count uh, Seshevo. It's meat. You want to count meat now. It's Seshevo. But I think we can cook uh, the insides for you tomorrow. Is it on Friday? Friday. Yeah, on Friday, 10 o'clock, they, they will communicate the necessary details. Thank you very much. Thank you, President and officials. Thank you, media. We are closing. Yeah, there is. Yeah, well, uh, don't worry.